Did you know that water is even more important for our body than food? More than 75% of our body weight is made up of water. Your body cannot survive for more than a few hours without having a drink, even less if you live in a hot country like ours. This is why over the years the different inhabitants of our islands have sought different ingenious ways to extract, collect and preserve the limited natural water resources that we have. So how do we produce our potable water? Today, the Water Services Corporation is the public utility responsible for the complete possible and waste water cycle in the Maltese Islands. The corporation produces and distributes potable water and collects and treats the waste water of over 420,000 people who inhabit the island and over 2 million tourists who visit us along the year. This potable water is delivered to our homes by an underground network of 2,500 kilometers of pipework, which is equivalent to the direct distance between Malta and Edinburgh. This network connects our homes to distribution reservoirs located in strategic points around the island. But where does this water come from? Desalinated water is produced from seawater from the island's three desalination plants located at Pembroke, Arlapsi and Chirkewa. Seawater is pumped through sea wells located close to the shoreline and passed through very fine filters called membranes. These membranes purify the seawater through a process known as reverse osmosis. The desalination plants are strategically located at three different points on our coastline to ensure that in case of incidents, such as an oil spill, not all plants will be affected. This will ensure that a constant supply of desalinated water is available to our country. Desalination contributes about 55% of the drinking water blend or 16 million cubic meters of water each year. So where do we get the remainder from? Groundwater is abstracted from around 80 boreholes and 8 pumping stations from beneath the ground. Groundwater comes from rainwater which seeps into the ground and moves through the different layers of rocks until it reaches sea level where it floats on seawater because it is lighter in density. Groundwater contributes to the remaining 45% of the drinking water blend, or 13 million cubic meters each year. In Malta, we have 24 reservoirs for potable water, which in total store 400,000 cubic meters. This reservoir in the limits of Rabat stores over 90,000 cubic meters of water. And its area is equivalent to more than twice the size of a football ground. to water once we make use of it. Our homes are also connected to another underground pipe system, the sewerage system. The sewerage network is made up of around 1,100 kilometers of pipes and galleries, conveying our sewage to three wastewater treatment plants, located at Tabarkat in Shaira, limits of Zabbar, Chumniya, limits of Meliha, and Russell Hops in Gozo. These plants encourage friendly bacteria to eat the organic material in our sewage, thus accelerating the natural processes to clean the sewage to the levels necessary by European Union legislation. These three plants treat all wastewater prior to its discharge at sea. In fact, the seas around Malta are classified as some of the cleanest seas in Europe. To ensure a higher level of protection, discharge of treated wastewater is carried through long submarine pipelines out at sea, thus not near coastal locations. An innovative new way to reduce our dependence on natural water resources is the introduction of the new water program. Through this, water consumed by us is further polished in these advanced wastewater treatment plants to be reused for agriculture, landscaping and industrial purposes. Through this process, the Water Services Corporation ensures that this water reaches the high quality levels required for reuse. This process will effectively reduce our dependence on natural water resources and therefore help us to better protect our water table systems. By introducing water reuse, we will also reduce our impact on the environment by giving water back to nature. Always remember that you can all make a difference by being more careful and reducing wastage of water. As we have just seen, water is a very precious resource and we should all do our part to protect it.